What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. Doing the 2020 Kilcarran 8 Cash Rank. This one is First Fill Sherry. The one that got all the craze was a refill Sherry Barrel, but it was Recharred. This one is First Fill, 56.9%. Uh, Gonna nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. So, interesting story about this one before I start. A little bit of a tragic story, actually. Um, as you can see, there's some whiskey stain on the tin here, and that's from a Springbank 10-year-old local barley that exploded upon delivery of this beautiful bottle. Um, very, very depressing. I'm not going to go too much into detail because I might cry, but yeah, I uh, lost my Springbank 10-year-old local barley. Actually, myself and another friend ordered six bottles total from a shop. And out of the out of the four bottles that made it, none of them were the Springbank 10 local barley. Two Springbank 10 local barleys destroyed in that shipment. Um, I'm not going to say it was on purpose, but it felt like there was intent behind it. Um, four bottles arrived, like I said, two of these and then two uh, long roll 10 reds uh, but the one that we really wanted didn't arrive which was the springbank 10 local barley so not gonna talk anymore about that it's in the past we must move on um kill karen 8 is it as good as a 2020 version i actually made a mistake earlier on i said this was a 2020 this is the 2021 not the 2020 i apologize the 2020 was the one that everyone went crazy for um or was it 2019? I can't remember exactly. So, when I first opened this bottle, it was outside. We were having a cigar, and we really enjoyed it. We opened. I opened it with my neighbors. We were at the cottage. It was beautiful. With the cigar, just the sweetness from this whiskey really complemented the cigar. Match made in heaven. Brought this inside for the next few drams, and I was disappointed. I thought uh, it was a little over sulfured, in my opinion. Right now, I'm nosing it, and it seems like the sulfur may have completely gone away on the nose. Let's see if it's still there on the palate. I'm not talking about that ammonia kind of note that I get from some sherry casks that I can't stand. I'm talking about like matchstick kind of sulfur, um, which I usually can handle in some doses, but when it's too much, it's too much. I have an example of too much on my bar here. Hopefully that one's opened up as well. But this one was a bit much, in my opinion, while drinking inside. Outside, different ball game. Drinking whiskey inside and outside, totally different ball game altogether. Jeremy and I are gonna do a video or a podcast on that um, very shortly, but gonna nose this one, taste it, and give it a mark. So, definitely get like that funk the you know Campbelltown funk from this much less on the sulfury side on the nose at the moment now don't keep in mind it's almost halfway down the bottle and it's been open for about a month and a half all right but there still is a touch of sulfur on the nose which weighs into like burnt sticks almost um a little bit of like a peat note of course and then like a sweet cherry note that um, hides behind that but it's still there a little bit of chocolate as well on the palate so sulfur a little bit more prominent on the palate but it dissipates pretty quick Goes into like a light peated note. Can be mistaken that sulfur for like a Campbelltown Funk, Springbank Funk, although this is not Springbank, it's the same company. And then that sweetness really prevails. Um, much sweeter now than it was when I first opened it. But actually that's not true because with the cigar, I did notice that sweetness quite a bit. Oh yeah, much more funky cherry chocolate kind of notes coming now. Uh, less sulfur for sure. 
a lot sweeter than I remember it from the last few experiences indoors. And what's remarkable is the lack of heat here is unbelievable. 56.9%, you would think it's a lot hotter or it would be a lot hotter, but it drinks like 46. The only thing telling you that it's a lot higher than 46 is the viscosity, which is high here, in my opinion. Oh yeah, drinking so much better now. Um, honestly, I love Kilcarran. I think you guys know that by now. They do everything the right way. Tend to be always no eye of color, unchill filtered, all those fun things. Usually a high ABV. I haven't really, I don't think I've had a Kilcarran under 46%. I don't think a Kilcarran exists under 46%, to be honest with you. Unless it's a cash drink that happened to manage it's way under 46. I don't think so. This is drinking way better now than it was a few weeks ago, or at least a couple weeks ago. The first time I tried this, I was like, oh yeah, 90 for sure. Second time I tried it, I was like, ooh, that's pretty sulfury. Maybe an 84, maybe an 83 even. Now it's coming in around that 89 mark again. So to weigh that all together, I'm probably gonna have to give this one an 87. I think it's excellent stuff. The price on these, incredible, honestly. Like you cannot go wrong. Price is great. Um, really happy with the bottle. I'm glad I got a second one. I managed to find a second one out there. A good friend of mine um, from Vine Arts helped me out with that one. Good friend of mine named Jesse helped me out with that one. Uh, really, really nice stuff. I'm happy I got a second one. Uh, at first I wasn't so sure, but now I'm glad knowing the way this opens up. Um, so yeah, 87, really good stuff overall. If you can bear through a little bit of growing pains, it opening up with some air, you're gonna get that sulfury note out and then all the good stuff remains. That funk from Cabo Town, that sweetness, all those fun things 87 at least and i'm probably being a little bit harsh because of the sulfur originally so i got some news guys uh we've been renovating my basement with the intention of having you know extra space in the house of course but a nice formal bar for whiskey in the six um so don't plan on moving from here for a very long time setting up exactly the way i want my bar to look it's gonna be fun. I'm really excited about it. I hope uh, we'll get there sooner rather than later. I'm thinking the latest is October, but I could be wrong. I don't wanna jinx it. Um, it might be a little bit later than that, but definitely before the new year. Uh, really, really excited about it. As you can tell, these things can get expensive, but you know what, uh, it's worth it. And I'm gonna be happy down there. It's gonna be a nice place to entertain and obviously a nice place to film these videos. So. We'll see what that looks like in the near future. Hope you like this video, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Get the bell to get notifications for when I do release videos. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and you can support this channel on Patreon. Cheers.